Perhaps as you know by now, this evening a member of our local four family is home recovering from the virus. Everard Casimir has tested positive for coronavirus. This morning on Local 4 News Today, he told us he didn't have the typical symptoms of a cough, fever, or shortness of breath. When I woke up Wednesday, it was excruciating pain all over my entire body. Um, it felt like my limbs were made of wood. I, I couldn't roll over in bed, you know, so let alone stand up and get out of bed. I called my doctor who said, you know, they weren't taking sick patients. They kind of um, self-diagnosed me over the phone as just some kind of virus, maybe the flu. I called um, a local hospital and they said the same thing. I don't need to come in. I don't need to get tested for Corona because I had symptoms that weren't consistent and they wanted to save the test for people that actually were showing those serious mm -hmm. symptoms. Yeah, it was only after Evrod wound up in the emergency room that he was finally tested. But that does raise the question, what symptoms should people be watching out for? For that, let's bring in Dr. Frank McGeorge um, with how big, I guess, this range of symptoms can be. Frank? Well, you know, Devin and Kimberly, it is big. We focus on fever, cough, and shortness of breath because they are the most common, and this is important, they often herald the most severe complications. But a runny nose, congestion, sore throat, body aches, headaches, fatigue, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, those are all possible with COVID-19. Now, more recently, there are even reports of anosmia, which is losing your sense of smell, and dysgeusia, which is a change in your sense of taste, neither of which appear to be permanent, but it's a wide range. So, so at what point should people see a doctor or go to the hospital yeah. then? So here's the thing. If you are not severely ill and you can manage at home, the current guidance is that you should self-isolate until you recover. At this point, we are not testing minimally symptomatic people. Now, if you cannot manage at home for whatever reason, fever, shortness of breath, dehydration, or even pain, you should get medical care. Everod's situation was a perfect lesson in that regard. And I also really want to point this out. While everyone is thinking about COVID-19, there are still people with appendicitis and ordinary pneumonia out there. So if you are sick enough to need the ER, you should absolutely still go. Yeah, the other stuff has not taken exactly. a vacation a just because right. coronavirus has moved in. Exactly yeah. right. All right, Doc. Uh,